Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on halo eyes and how to do them if you have hooded eyes or if you're a beginner to makeup. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories what was one makeup technique that you really struggled with and doing halo eyes seemed to be the most common answer and then I realized I haven't actually done a video that shows you in depth how to do a halo eye if you are a person with hooded eyes or if you're just starting out with makeup. So I thought that'd be the perfect video to film for you today. Before we get into the video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. And without further ado, let's just jump straight in. Today I'm going to be working with the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3 palette. I've just prepped my base using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. And now we're ready to start. Somebody suggested that I do lilac and there's some lovely lilac shades in this palette. So we're going to do a lilac halo eye today. So first things first, we're going to put down our initial color, which I'm going to focus in the crease. And this is going to be our darkest shade. On a JH40 brush, I'm going to pick up this deep purple shade here called Blackberry. And I'm putting this color in my crease. It doesn't have to be perfect or tidy. For now, just get the color down and we can tidy it up later. So I am following my eye and making a half moon shape like I've done on this side. I'm also bringing it into my outer corner and my inner corner as well. Don't worry if you get any eyeshadow going onto the lid. We're gonna clean it up later with some makeup remover. Next, I'm gonna pick up the shade Tahiti on an M506 brush. Now I'm gonna put this shade half onto the darker shade and half off just like I've done on this side so that you get a really soft blend. You want to keep this blend controlled and not bring it up too high because there still is one more color that we have to put on the eye. So just take your time and slowly build the color up following the shape of that darker color. Now I'm picking up the shade Lilac on another clean M506 brush. So I'm taking that shade right on the very edge of that previous shade and we're going to slowly build it up till we get something like this. I'm making sure to use really light pressure here as well just so that I can control the colour a bit better. The key to having a good blend is just having a lot of patience. I've just got a JH33 brush with a little bit of white from another eyeshadow palette on and I'm just going to use it along the very edge of that last shade just so the blend is really seamless. So now I'm just gonna go in with all three of those shades that we used, just cause we did lose a little bit of the pigmentation when we were doing the blending. Okay, now we're up to the complex bit. So we need to clear off any excess eyeshadow from the lid so that we can start to create our halo eye. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and carved out a half circle shape on my lid. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Honestly, this is probably the most annoying part of doing a halo eye, just getting that shape right. So you can see where my natural crease is here. If I relax my eye slightly, I wanna make sure that I take off a little bit of shadow above that so when I look forward you can still see the color on the lid. So I've got a little bit of makeup remover on this makeup white and I'm slowly just gonna start taking stuff off the lid. I'm using my fingernail to kind of make the shape and I'm just doing a little bit out of time because you can always take off more. Putting on more is when you start to get into a bit of a pickle. So just take your time and slowly start to carve out that circle shape. So I can see that I'm starting to get a similar shape on this side. I just need to go a little bit higher. I'm making sure I'm using a well saturated makeup wipe as well because nothing hurts more than dragging a dry makeup wipe across your sensitive eye. Okay, so those shapes are pretty similar. Now I'm going to do the rest of the work with my concealer. So to cut out the halo eye, I'm going to be using my P. Louise Acid Rain Paint in the shade Blank Canvas. And to help me get a nice precise line, I'm going to take my P. Louise 7072 brush. So I've just popped a little bit of that paint on the back of my hand. And I'm picking up a tiny amount on the brush. So we're gonna create this shape on this side. First, I'm just gonna follow the edge of that eyeshadow with the paint. And I'm just using little stamping motions to start marking out the shape. And now I'm just making sure that that line is as even as it can be. Now I'm just gonna take the excess product on my brush and just stamp it onto the lid. And then I'm gonna take my finger just to get rid of any excess product. And I'm going to tap the very edges so that it blends nicely into the eyeshadow. 
Don't worry if this gets a bit messed up, we can go back and correct it with eyeshadow. And then I'm just gonna use another P. Louise flat brush to even out that base product at the very top of the eye. So I'm taking the brush that I used that blackberry shade on and I'm going to start tapping the edge to get the shape we want and clean up the outsides. Anywhere that I'm struggling to get close to the eye, I'm going to take this Morphe E36 brush and just use that same shade carefully where I want to clean up any mistakes. Now that we've cleaned up, I can see that this side comes up a little bit higher than this side, so we're just going to raise this side up a little bit. Okay, now that we've cut out the spot for our halo eye, we're going to put the shimmer shades on the lid. So first I'm going to take this shade here called Amethyst on an M213 brush. So I'm just putting that amethyst shade on the very edge of where those matte eyeshadows are. And I'm not too worried about making it as blended as possible right now. Now I'm going to take this shade here called Starlight on an M213 brush. Now I'm going to take that Starlight shade on my finger and just put it on the lid. I'm not worried about being tidy once again. And then I'm using that shade on the M213 brush so I can get nice and close to the line. I'm going back in with that amethyst shade on the M213 brush and just blending that in. And now I'm going to take this fantasy pigment from Peach's Makeup and apply that on top. And I'm just using a JH38 brush to stamp this on top. I'm just going to quickly do my base makeup and then I'll be back to finish the look. So my base is done, so now we're going to finish off the eyes. I'm just taking some more of that pigment from before and putting it under my brow bone. And I'm also going to put it in the inner corner. I'm taking that shade Blackberry again on the same brush and smoking that under the lower lash line. And I'm doing the same with that Tahiti shade. And finally, I'm taking that lilac shade and smoking all of the colors out. I just use a Morphe M443 brush to put some blank canvas paint in the waterline, and then I just set it with that lilac shade. I'm just going to quickly put some mascara and lashes on, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Lashes are on, and here is the finished look. Well, there you guys go. That is the Halo Eye tutorial. I literally spent 25 minutes putting on lashes because I just couldn't get them on properly. It took me like four times, but we got there in the end. <laughs> but yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think of this look down below and if you're going to try it out for yourself. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you really liked the video, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. For more looks and looks that I don't create here, check out my Instagram at MakeupWithAlex. All my social links are linked down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials focusing on eye looks. I have plenty up my sleeve. And if you want to see another variation of a halo eye, check out the video on the card up here. Or up here. I can't remember which side it's on. For a spotlight eye look tutorial. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!